Wait, you have to clean this thing? My name is Greg, you're watching How to Play Paintball. So someone had asked basically, how, how do you clean a regulator for a tank? Uh, this is something that's really important. You want to make sure that you are taking care of this. This is one of those things that's out of sight, out of mind. And I even forget to clean it, to be honest. So it's good that you guys asked because I probably do need to clean this. Uh, and the reason why you want to do that is there is, with pretty much every tank, there's a piston inside here. And if that isn't clean, it's kind of like if you don't clean the regulator on your gun, you're going to have fluctuations in your velocity. So you don't want to have fluctuations in how much air is actually going into your gun and you know messing anything up. Some guns need to only be at a certain pressure, so you don't want to mess that up. So before I get into cleaning this, I did talk with Powerhouse. I just want to make sure I had everything on straight. And uh, they actually recommend that you clean your reg about every two months. And that's if you're playing every single weekend. Now, they said if you're in Florida, like I am, and you have a lot of, I guess, humidity, uh, you know, sometimes the fill stations can be kind of dirty if there's water in the line, stuff like that. Um, so if you have kind of a dirtier field, if that makes sense, if you have harsher conditions, like in Florida, it can get like that. You're gonna wanna clean it more on like a six week basis. So every six weeks, uh, and it's very, very simple to do. You're gonna see that it's super easy. It's not something, I, I know it can be scary because you have 4,000 pounds of pressure trying to push into this thing and it's regulating how much air is actually coming out of it. So you wanna make sure that this is operating correctly. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead, I'm gonna take my reg and show you how to actually clean it. A lot of the regs are gonna be very, very similar. A lot of them have, pretty much all of them have a piston in here. So what I do with my powerhouse is gonna be similar if you have a ninja, maybe even a crossfire. There might be some subtle differences, but a lot of the, the tips that I'll give you for this reg are gonna be able to kind of flow into other regs. But um, powerhouse is awesome. So I'm using my powerhouse reg to, uh, to show this off. So all that you're gonna need is your choice of lubricant. So uh, I'm actually in this one gonna be using marmalade because it's a little bit thicker. So it's gonna hold a little bit better. It doesn't, you don't need to use as much and it's not gonna be flying off the reg. But if you use something like a Dow 33, that's gonna be okay, but you are gonna have to clean your reg a little bit more often. That's something that uh, Powerhouse recommends. So Powerhouse does make their own uh, reg lubricant. So you can purchase that on their website, I believe. So you can go ahead and purchase that there. I'm gonna be using Marmalade. Uh, it's something that for regulators is really good to use just because it's thicker. And like I said, with the Dow 33, you just need to use it more often. So I'm not gonna use that. Uh, also, all you need is a paper towel a good working surface that you're not going to lose anything and then an allen key set you know you're only going to need one allen key out of this and every single one is going to be a little bit different with each reg so the the allen key that i use for this reg is going to be different than if you have like a crossfire or a ninja you know stuff like that obviously if you use a powerhouse then you use the same one all right so like i had said it's it's actually very simple to to do this so all that you're going to need to do so you don't want to loosen up on the powerhouse ones and i believe even the ninjas have the same type of system this top one is just to move this around so that way you can get the fill nipple to wherever it is that you want it to be so you don't want to mess with that once you have everything all set but you do want to whoop, try and do this through the camera so i'm sorry if uh I'm actually just going to look at the at the reg. Let's do that. So you're going to go ahead and unscrew those set screws. So you want to make sure that you don't lose those. And for this one, it's a 5 64ths, the, the type of Allen key. So if you have a powerhouse, that way you know exactly which one you need to get. Uh, if you just want to have one in your, your kit, that's fine, but I mean, like my Mac Dev kit has a 564, so that's gonna work perfect. Okay, so we have our three set screws. Uh, just move the Allen key off to the side, and you just need to unscrew this bonnet, and that will reveal everything. Uh, what I like to do is actually go ahead, and you can use a Q-tip for this, but just to kind of clean everything out here. So if you don't have a Q-tip, and all you have is your paper towel, kind of put it like that, Stick it in there, move it around, and just try to get some of that gunk out of there. So that way you're just, there's just less stuff going into your gun. Like the, the primes uh, that I use, or the prime that I use, is it has like a screen. So that way it's going to help with if there is any dirt or anything like that. But it doesn't hurt just to have a little bit of extra help there. Uh, same thing 
with inside here. Just want to make sure everything is cleaned out. Kind of stick your paper towel down there. And even like, see I got some gunk here. So I'm just going to clean that off. And that way, this is ready to go. So I don't see anything else there. Set that off to the side. Okay, so inside of the actual piston, you have your pin. Uh, Powerhouse has the spring attached, which is really nice. That way it doesn't roll away on you. And the wave spring that they moved over to that instead of shims. And then you just have your piston. So you can just kind of look at it. Um, if there's any damage, you might want to look into maybe swapping out any O-rings, but should be okay. So I'm just gonna clean off all the old lube. And same thing, I just wanna clean everything out. Make sure that everything is good to go. So that should be good. Take my pin, clean that off, and wave spring. And clean that. Okay, so now we're done with our paper towel. Now with the marmalade, if you're using something similar to this, you don't want to use a lot of it. So just kind of dab your finger in there. You just want the O-rings to look wet. So I'm just going to move it around like that. And you just want it to look wet, like I said. So put that there. Take my pin. Slide that back in there. Now this part can get a little bit tricky. Kind of sliding it in there. You can try to match it up. So that way it floats on through. We have that there. And that's just a matter of just doing everything in reverse. So again, I'm trying to do this through the camera, so it's a little bit weird. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this back down. You're gonna hear some clicking. There we go. And that's just because there's like a, a ball bearing essentially inside of the powerhouse put in there. It's a cool design. So I'm gonna close this up before anything gets inside there. You can see I've had this for a while. And then it's just a matter of putting back in your set screws. Okay. So just a quick tip with this, so I don't you, don't, you don't want to torque anything down. You don't need to Hulk smash these things, but you do want it to be a little bit snug. So I just went kind of hand tight, just going to tighten it a little bit, tighten each of these just a little bit, because you don't want anything in here slipping around and messing anything up. And just while we're at it, I'll just double check these. Ooh, like that one's a little bit loose. Good, I'm just tightening it down. And again, it doesn't need to be super tight. Just kind of move it till you feel that pressure. Maybe just a little bit more than that, and then you're good to go. But now my reg is all squeaky clean. All right, guys, so that's the video. Uh, I, I hope that it's something that helps you guys out. It's something that, like I said, I, I can even forget. It's out of sight, out of mind. It's something that I forget to clean. So it's important every two months or so yeah, you want to make sure that you go in and, and clean this thing out. Now, if you're in Florida, uh, somewhere where there's a lot of humidity, I guess, uh, you know, if you have kind of dirty airlines, you might want to do this every six weeks uh, just to kind of shorten that. So that way you're making sure everything is nice and clean. You don't want to have anything, any burst disc blowing uh, because your reg isn't working the way that it should be. And also you just wanna make sure that you're taking care of your gun because you can't play paintball without your paintball gun. So that's that's definitely something that's important. So anyways, before I end this video, I know I had teased the raffle before. It is definitely happening next week. So you wanna make sure that you are subscribed so that way you know where you need to go. Two huge prizes. Uh, it's it's gonna be great, guys. So I, it's a great cause. I'll explain more about that in the, the next video next week, but I wanted to make sure that you guys knew about that. So tell your friends, it's awesome prizes and it's not gonna be a lot for a ticket. It's, yeah, just just subscribe. You're, you're gonna wanna see what it is. Uh, so thank you to, um, we'll, we'll get into it. I'm not even gonna say thank you to anyone yet because uh, you guys are just gonna have to wait and see what the prizes are. So anyways, I guess I'll see you guys next week. And as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.